हे गाइस वेलकम बैक सो टुडे विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट मैक्सिलरी मेजर कनेक्टर सो द मेन पर्पज ऑफ मैक्सिलरी मेजर कनेक्टर इज टू प्रोवाइड अ रिजिड कनेक्शन बिटवीन ऑल पोर्शंस ऑफ द प्रोसेस सो मेजर कनेक्टर इट कनेक्ट्स द एंटायर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द कास्ट पार्शियल डेंचर सच एज डायरेक्ट रिटेनर्स रेस्ट माइनर कनेक्टर्स एक्सेट्रा ऑफ वन साइड टू अनादर साइड दैट इज फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट so the main function of a major connector is to provide a rigid connection between all the portions of the prosthesis major connectors has to be rigid to control the relationship of the remaining teeth to each other uh, it uh, also needs to be rigid to control the direction of the uh, forces against all remaining support structures and it utilizes and unites the remaining dentition of the arch so that we can get the cross arch stabilization so the main function of the uh, major connector is to provide rigidity to the prosthesis so occlusal forces they falls onto the occlusal surface via the rest they move on to the major connector via the minor connector so this is the uh, basic direction of the occlusal forces that occlusal forces they falls onto the occlusal surface from occlusal surface they get transferred to the rest and from rest they move on to the major connector via the minor connector there are various configurations uh, available for the maxillary major connector such as bars straps and plates but each of them has uh, their separate indications the bars they are usually narrow and thick and are usually employed in the mandible whereas the straps they are wider and thinner and usually used in the maxillary arch plate are thin and they are used when the maximum coverage is needed like uh, whenever there are multiple missing teeth and uh, we do not have adequate uh, teeth to gain the support so in that case we need to go for the plate so that we can cover the maximum area of the edentulous arch now things in common to add in all types of major connector like whenever uh, we get any sort of short note on to maxillary major connector these are the things which are to be added in common okay so any maxillary major connector it should be 6 mm away from the marginal gingiva to protect the tissue and to avoid trauma so maxillary major connector should always start 6 mm away from the marginal gingiva all maxillary major connectors are half oval in cross section the anterior borders of the connector they should always terminate in the valley of the rugae or between the two rugae it should never rest on to the mucosal folds it the posterior border should always be thickest in the center as seen in the figure width of the posterior strap should be 8 to 12 mm whereas posterior strap should not cross the anterior vibrating line on to the hard palate it should not cross the hard palate because if it crosses the hard palate mostly patient complains of gagging so that is why posterior strap should not cross the anterior vibrating line onto the hard palate minimum thickness needed in the center of the strap is 1.5 mm and width needed is 8 to 12 mm as we have already discussed that is width of posterior strap coming on to the types of maxillary major connector we have palatal bar palatal strap anterior posterior palatal strap which is also called as closed horseshoe type of maxillary major connector then we have horseshoe type or u shaped major connector and then we have complete palatal plate type of maxillary major connector coming on to the indications of maxillary major connectors indication for palatal bar that is usually it is used in case of interim partial denture or class 3 edentulous arch with one or two missing teeth so as it is narrow it does not provide adequate rigidity to the prosthesis and hence the palatal bar it is only used in those cases which has one or two missing teeth coming on to the palatal strap so it is used in short span class 3 or class 2 arches with cross arch stabilization anterior posterior palatal strap or a closed horseshoe type so it is usually used in class 2 class 4 it is almost used in every partially edentulous arch except the inoperable maxillary tori cases so the closed horseshoe type of maxillary major connector it is usually used most commonly in uh, almost all the types of uh, partially edentulous cases except that of inoperable maxillary tori case 
then coming on to the u shaped type of maxillary major connector or horseshoe shaped so this is the uh, major connector which we usually use in case of inoperable palatal tori so if there is palatal tori in that case we cannot go for the closed horseshoe because it has posterior component so it would compress the uh, tori and it would cause discomfort to the patient so that is why in that case we go for the u shaped type of maxillary major connector it is also used in uh, case of many anterior teeth missing and uh, if the patient has strong gag reflex so many patients because of the posterior uh, component may develop uh, gagging so in that case if uh, the gag cannot be controlled so we need to go for u shaped or horseshoe shaped type of maxillary major connector and lastly the palatal plate type of maxillary major connector so it is usually used in case of class 1 that is bilateral edentulous arches then a uh, long span edentulous arches and flat ridges and shallow vaults as we have already discussed that a uh, complete palatal uh, coverage is usually used when we have uh, lesser number of teeth present into the oral cavity if the ridges are resolved and uh, palatal walls are shallow so uh, in order to gain the adequate retention support and stability we need to cover more of the edentulous arch uh, that is why we need to go for the complete palatal plate type of major connector coming on to the characteristics and location of maxillary major connector so palatal bar as we have already discussed it provides poor support because it is thinner okay uh, so in order to improve the support we need to give the multiple rest onto the tooth surface and uh, if it is present anterior to the premolar it usually causes tongue interference Palatal strap, it is one of the most versatile design. Uh, it provides resistance against the bending and twisting because it is uh, more wider and is a strap type of configuration. So that is why it provides a proper resistance against the bending and twisting forces. Uh, as it covers more area than that of bar type of connector, it uh, usually provides enhanced retention and it should at least be 10 millimeters wide. Uh, to gain the adequate retention and stability for the prosthesis coming on to the next type that is closed horseshoe type so it has two components anterior component and posterior component so anterior component it try uh, it lies between the rugae whereas posterior uh, component it uh, ends onto the anterior vibrating line of the heart palate and it should at least be 8 millimeters wide both the components that is anterior and posterior component that join together by the longitudinal connectors and this longitudinal connectors they provide rigidity to this framework next that is u shaped type of uh, maxillary major connectors or horseshoe shaped type so its main disadvantage is it tends to straighten because it has only the anterior component it does not have the posterior component as that of the uh, closed horseshoe so that is why as it has only the anterior component it uh, tends to straighten and hence it cannot be used for the distal extension denture basis. So if we need to avoid flexure of the framework, we need to uh, provide greater bulk to the prosthesis, greater bulk to the major connector. But again, if we uh, provide greater bulk to the major connector, it would uh, cause discomfort to the patient. So that is why the main disadvantage of the uh, horseshoe shape type of major connector is it tends to undergo flexure or it tends to straighten uh, when the occlusal forces uh, falls onto the framework. And then the uh, complete palatal type of major connector, it uh, transmits the temperature changes as it provides the extensive coverage onto the palate. It usually causes speech problems to the patient uh, when the patient starts using the prosthesis initially. And also because of the extensive coverage of the palatal tissue, sometimes it may cause soft tissue reactions. Lastly, uh, these are some points which we need to remember. Like single palatal bar, it is the least logical type of design. Anterior posterior palatal bar, it is the most rigid type of design. AP palatal strap, that is the best designed maxillary major connector. U-shaped, it is the least desirable and poorest design. Whereas complete palate, it is the one which provides the greatest retention, obviously because it has an extensive tissue coverage. More the tissue coverage, 
more is going to be the retention for the prosthesis so that is a complete palette is the one which provides the greatest retention thank you all if you like the video please like share and subscribe the video and my channel akshay bandari's dental video see you soon in the next video thank you